The Gospels, Book of Matthew, Chapter 15, No Commentary Then Pharisees and scribes came to Jesus from Jerusalem and said, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? They do not wash their hands after they eat a meal. He said to them in reply, And why do you break the commandment of God for the sake of your tradition? For God said, Honor your father and your mother, and whomever curses, uh, father, curses father or mother shall die. But you say, whoever says to father or mother, any support you ha might have had for me is dedicated to God, need not honor his father. You have nullified the word of God for the sake of your tradition. Hypocrites! Well, did Isaiah prophesy about you when he said, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from, God, from me. In vain, or do they worship me, teaching as doctrines, as doctrines human precepts? He summoned the crowd and said to them, Hear and understand. It is not what enters one's mouth that defiles a person, but what comes out of the mouth that defiles one. Then his disciples approached him and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees took, up, took offense when they heard what you said? He said in reply, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone, leave, let them alone. they are blind guides of the blind. If a blind person leads a blind person, both will fall into a pit. Then Peter said to him in reply, Explain this parable to us. He said to them, Are you e he said to them, Are you even without, still without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that enters the mouth passes into the stomach and is expelled into the latrine? But, but the things that come out of the mouth come from the heart and they defile? For for from the heart come come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, unchastity, theft, false witness, and blasphemy. These are what defile a person, but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile. Then Jesus went from that place and withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came out and called out, Have pity on me, Lord! Son of David, my, do my daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word of an answer to her. The disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she, keep she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. Moving from, from there, Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, went up on the mountain, and sat down there. Great crowds came up, great crowds came to him, Having them, having with them the lame, the blind, the deformed, the mute, and many others, they placed them them at his feet, and he cured them. The crowds were amazed when they saw the mute, the mute speaking, the deformed made made whole, the lame made walking, the lame walking, and the blind able to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. Jesus summoned his disciples and said, "My heart is moved with pity for the crowd." For they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry, for they may, they may collapse on the way. The disciples came to him, came to them, him. Would, where would we ever get enough bread in this desert place to satisfy such a crowd? Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? Seven, they replied, and a few fish. He ordered the crowd to sit on the ground. Then he took seven loaves and fish and gave thanks, broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. They picked the fragments left over seven baskets full. Those who ate were four thousand men, not counting women and children. And, they, and when they had dismissed the crowds, he got into a boat and came to the district of Magadan. Okay, chapter. Sixteen. Thank you for watching our show. Have yourselves a lovely afternoon. Chapter 16 is next. Oopsie.
that I do here. I'm doing what I'm doing. What the? 